to explain how to set up a carry sheet in Photoshop so you can finish your prints. So we're going to show you how to use a carry sheet. Basically what a carry sheet is, is it's a sheet that allows you to literally carry this finer paper through the printer. And um, it allows you to print on a lot of finer papers or thinner papers that couldn't go through otherwise. So what you want to do is you want to measure in to see where your margins are going to be on your print. So you can see that we're just right at the two inch mark on the side and two inch mark on the top, which is what we set up when we started to do our pre-coat on this particular piece. So when you launch Photoshop, you want to start by creating a new document that you're going to size to the specific size of whatever your print is, you know, what our, what our carry sheet is. Always want to have the resolution 300 DPI, and for this example, my carry sheet is 13 inches by 19 inches, so I want to make sure I have those set here. Make sure I put the inches in. Once you get that all set, you're going to go ahead and click OK. Now this has created your new uh, blank document, which is basically going to resemble exactly what your carry sheet is. I always make sure that I have my view set open under view rulers so that I can see the rulers. Let me turn that back on for you. This way it's really easy to drag my guidelines over from the margins to be able to set up exactly where my margins were on my sheet. Remember we did it two inches from the top and two inches in from the left. I always give myself a little extra room so I'm also going to go in a half inch up and a half inch down in order to make sure that I have nice border because remember we're going to print this a little bit smaller than what our actual document dimensions are. Now our exact document dimensions are 10 inches by 8 inches so I'm going to make sure that I go down and block off that area so I know exactly where I'm working. The next step is to actually import your image into this area. So I'm going to bring up my photo we're going to use our handsome rooster here. I'm going to go look at the image size and make sure that it's sized slightly smaller than the area that I have set up in the boxes. So for example, on this one, resolution 300, I'm going to do it 6 inches by 9 inches. Go ahead and click OK, and I'm going to copy and paste this into my new document. Now I'm going to move it up and make sure that I have a nice border around it. And this way, you know, you can just guarantee that you're going to print right in the area. Um, I usually like to, again, print a little bit smaller than what my template is set up for, just so I can, um, you know, trim the edges or do, especially if you have beveled edges, it gives you a lot of options for that. Next, we need to go into our print settings to make sure that we're all set correctly. That's under File, Print, and it'll bring up your print dialog box. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we change the paper size to be the perfect size of what we're actually printing with our carry sheet. In this case, it's going to be the 13 by 19. Next, we want to go to our print settings and make sure we have this set up correctly. Always use for media type enhanced matte paper and make sure you're using the appropriate black inks with your inkjet printers. Save those settings and now you're ready to print. So once your print is done, and it looks gorgeous, you can just go through and just remove your painter's tape. And again, do you see how we had that perfect edge, which allowed us to print inside the margins? You can see the difference between the coated portion and the uncoated portion. And we just remove all of that tape. Now the great thing about using this uh, plastic mat as a carry sheet as opposed to using the, the paper is you can actually hear the peeling of that ink aid coating coming off. But we have this beautiful, beautiful um, image and look at that color. I mean this is why the white matte pre-coat is just gorgeous. I mean just look at the, the detail and the texture and the colors. And what's great is you're getting two things here. You're getting the actual texture of the fabric and you're getting the brush strokes of the, pre, uh, of the white matte. You know, so it really gives you just a wonderful, wonderful image.